All right, we're less than a month away from one of the most anticipated tech reveals of the year, Apple's announcement of the iPhone 16 series, with promises of bigger screens, better battery life, faster charging, and even a few surprises up their sleeve. This might just be the most exciting iPhone lineup yet, but the question we're all asking, is it really worth getting hyped about? Let's break it down. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you found this video informative and, and leave a comment below. We love hearing from you. For business inquiries, contact us today for expert content creation and advertising your brand or products on our TikTok and YouTube channels. Don't hesitate to email us. In this video, we're diving into everything we know so far about the iPhone 16 series. We'll cover the new features, what's changing, and whether these updates are going to be game changers or just incremental tweaks. And hey, don't forget to hit that like button if you're excited about what Apple has in store. Let's get into it. So first things, when are we getting our hands on these new iPhones? Mark your calendars for Tuesday, September 10th. That's when we expect Apple to unveil the iPhone 16 series at their big event. If Apple sticks to their usual schedule, pre-orders will likely start a few days later, with the phones officially hitting stores around September 20th. That means by the end of September, you could be unboxing your brand new iPhone 16. Oh, now, let's talk models. We're likely looking at a lineup similar to what we've seen in previous years, the iPhone 16, 16 Plus, 16 Pro, and the 16 Pro Max. But here's where it gets interesting. Rumors suggest that both the Pro and Pro Max models will see a slight bump in screen size. The Pro could go from 6.1 inches to 6.3 inches, and the Pro Max might jump from 6.7 inches to a whopping 6.9 inches, making it the biggest iPhone ever. And don't worry, this increase in size won't mean a bulkier phone. Apple's likely achieving this with thinner bezels, which is pretty impressive considering how slim they already are. Speaking of design, let's talk about what's new. For the regular iPhone 16 and 16 Plus, the sizes will remain the same, but you can expect some fresh colors and a shift in the camera layout from diagonal to vertical. This change is supposedly to support spatial video recording a feature previously reserved for the pro models now it's trickling down to the to the more affordable options one of the more exciting design tweaks for the pro models is the introduction of a dedicated shutter button something sony xperia users will find familiar this new button will allow you to lightly press to refocus take photos with a full press and even zoom in and out by swiping. And guess what? The action button from the 15 Pro series will also make its way down to the regular iPhone 16 models. But here's my one request to Apple. Let us pause video recordings and switch between cameras mid-shot. If Android phones can do it, why can't the iPhone? Let's move on to the display. The iPhone 16 series is expected to feature OLED panels that are 20% brighter reaching up to 1200 nits thanks to new micro lens array MLA technology. This will not only make your screen pop in bright sunlight, but will also contribute to those thinner bezels we mentioned earlier. And this is all thanks to a new border reduction structure or BRS system that will help reduce the bezels while keeping the phone's structural integrity intact. So, what do you think? Are, are these updates enough to get you excited about the iPhone 16 or are you holding out for something bigger? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're as pumped as I am for Apple's September event, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I will be covering all the latest news as it drops, so you won't want to miss it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Be sure to click here for more videos on the latest tech news and here to subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for all the Apple updates coming your way. Peace out.